Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve another exercise in CAM, where the question goes like this. It says, a plate CAM with the following having its line of action offset 10 mm from the CAM center line. Transmit the following motion. A lift of 60 mm in 180 degree with uniform acceleration dwell for 60 degree and a fall of 60 millimeter and 120 degree with simple harmonic motion the follower is of knife edge rotating in a clockwise direction the least radius of cam is 40 millimeter construct the displacement diagram and hence produce the cam profile now i have already written out the parameters just like i did in the previous video i showed you how you can write out the parameters right where we'll talk about um, the simple harmonic motion both at the rise and at the fall or both at the lift or at the fall or you see the in stroke and out stroke if you are interested in the video you can click on this link at the top right corner here to access it now, if you look at from the question I just analyzed, we are given the lift of 60 millimeter in 180 degree with uniform acceleration. We are given the dwell for 60 degree, the four 60 millimeter in 120 degree with simple harmonic motion. The follower type is knife edge. The follower rotation as given the equation is clockwise. The least cam radius is 40 millimeter the follower line of action now the follower is not centered at the center of the cam it is offset from the center 10 millimeter then the cam rotation is anti-clockwise because the follower rotation is clockwise now the first thing you have to do is to draw the cam profile first of all so i'll take my instrument my C square and I am going to draw this horizontal line just like I did in the previous video this way you can see that and I will come somewhere around here and I'll draw a vertical line this way let me come here Draw a vertical line this way from here. Now, the height of this line is the lift, which is 60 millimeter. So it means that from this point here, I measure 60 millimeter downward. So this is zero from here, right? To this point here is 60. Well, I'll love to take half of it with the help of my compass, right? So from 0 to 30, 60, we all know that. Then I'm going to place it at the center here. Right? I'll place it here. And I'm going to draw a semicircle. I'm not even going to draw any semicircle in this case. And I'll tell you why. The reason why I'm not doing semicircle is because what we are doing it is what? Uniform acceleration. Right, so you are not drawing a semicircle. So the height here is 60. What I'm going to do is I am going to complete it all, draw an horizontal line this way. Yeah, taking and I'll use my instrument since we're drawing a circle and a circle has 360 degree, then I'll make of that this one into 12. From 0 to 12 this way that is completing 360 static in now we are told that um, I will just complete it this way I'll complete it this way you can see that now we are told that um, from 0 to 180 is uniform acceleration 
So if I place it here, I will move from zero. Let's say this is 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and 180, which is at this point here. That means this section here is my lift of 180 to this point here. All right, so I'll just simply write here as what? As the lift. Is that again? Then the next one that we're given here, we're told that um, it is dwell for 60 degree, right? That means it has rest for 60 degree. So from that same point that I said 180, I'll start again and I'll measure 60. This is zero, this is 30, and this is 60. So I'm measuring degree on the horizontal line. Then I'll come here, I'll take it up. That means this point here is the dual, which is the rest. Right? Then the remaining one will do fall for 60 degree this is what 120 so automatically the remaining one if you remove um if you remove um 240 you're going to be having 120 left to make it 160 so this is 0 30 60 90 120 another aspect that is the 4 is that the key now so this is what we have here you see i did not write anything here now since we're told the first section which is the section of the uniform acceleration we are going to divide this line because from here if you count count here from here to here is giving us the number of number of division here should be six and we have six already from zero to what to six then I have to divide the air so it will be of equal with the horizontal. So I'll divide this side into six. So with the help of my instrument, my C square and my T square, I would like to use the smaller one so you have a better vision of it, or I'll use the bigger one. So this is what I mean by using the smaller one. I'll use my C square, this is the bigger one, so I'm using the smaller one, right? So I'm going to draw a line at any given angle. At this point here, just draw it this way. Let me make it this way to this point. You can see that. Make it visible. Now, I will take my compass and I'm going to count six different points. From here is zero, right? And I'll say this is one. Is that taking? I'll say this is 2 and I'll say 3 the next one is 4 5 10 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 after doing that I'm going to connect the last point this last point to this point here you can see that or better still i just connect this any of them i want to do so connect the last point to this point you can see that so when i do that i'll be having this now i'll take my rule or the other one or better still my rule i'll place it at this other end here Can see that so when I place it there in this way, then I hold the ruler down, then I start moving this to the next point. You can see that. Then I have this this way. The first point. I'll go to the next one. And I have this. So 
click on one I'll put in this one and I have this the third one I'll put in this one I have this the last one of the list I have this this is what we have here so this will be 1.1 .1. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Now the reason why I use this method is it is easier to divide. But in this case, since this question is helpful, we're only just giving um, the height to be 60. So you just take your meter rule. This is an easy way. I just showed you this. Should you are given another um, height that is not of even value, right that is greater than 60 so you know what to do maybe you're giving like 61 or 63 and so on and so forth so it's better for you to use your line division but since it is 60 we're on the right track you can just take your rule and you place it this way right and you this is from zero to here this is one two three four five six so use this and divide it instead of this right now let's move forward now we are going to project each of these points straight down to the other end here so we're projecting it straight down to the other end here you can see that straight down to the other end here straight down to the other end here so we'll continue doing that see what we have here now the next thing we'll do, don't forget that um, when we are ruling this, you just join this end here to this end here. Since we are moving from here, accelerating, right? Start from here, come over here. Faint line, not thick line. You connect both of them. You can see that? Now we know very well that at this junction here, we have 30 each so this is 1 2 3 4 5 and what and 6 now what I'm going to do is at the center point if you count 0 1 if it is 0 this is 1 this is 1 this is 2 this is 2 this is 3 this is 3 and this is the center so that center I'm going to project it upward with faint line this way You can see that now what i'll do is i'm going to project each of those points each of this point to come here and meet the center here from here to this point from here to this point All right so that is what we have then this third is already here then i'll come here also i'll do the same thing from here in the other side to this point from here to this point and the third is already here so what i will do is with the help of my c square this way i will move it to the first line which is this is zero here the first line is one right where one meets one if i project it one here is meeting one so that will be the first point Two, we go and meet two. Two point two, we meet line two. Right, that's what we have here. Because this is line one, this is line two. Two, this is one, this is two. So one is meeting one, two is meeting two. Then this is three here. Three is already there. Right, then the next one is four. That again, so I'll come from here. I'll repeat the same fit, right? So where four is meeting four is at this point, or you just start all over from this point again. I will come so four we meet four here, in here you roll it from this point from the top, right? We'll come down here. You will come again from here, you will come down here to the point that we need 
this 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 the reason why i don't need this is because we already have a point on three you don't repeat each point right so i'm going to join all this together with my french curl so with the help of my french curl i'm going to draw joining those points together so um i have this this is coming like this you can see that so I'll join them together first of all you connect this three See that from here can this usually come here in the next one can it really come here this way Right? It also starts from here first. So this will be coming like this. From this point. Right? You can really... Can see that? This is what we have here. So that is our uniform acceleration, right? Now the next thing we're going to do is that I can decide to when I come this is a dwell, so we are going to take in this line here at this dwelling point, the rest point from here to here. Now we'll talk about a fall. Now the fall is with a simple harmonic motion, just like the previous video. So we are going to draw a semicircle because it is what simple harmonic motion. So we are going to locate the center here. Now this is the center here, right? It has the same center. So from that center, I'm going to draw a semicircle this way. Right? Then you divide it into four. Right, from my divine to four. Since we're using 30 degree each, right? If I place my compass here, my rule here, we're having 40 here, right? And that is zero, one, two, three, and four. So I'll divide it into four, and that will be the help of my what? My 45 degrees squared. So when I place it this way, right, on my instrument here, my set square, I will have this. This is one. I'll move this also. I'll have the other one, which is this. Right? It is easier to use this to do this. If you want to move further, you can divide here into six and come here and divide here into six using 20 degree each. But well, this will be this will make our work faster. Is that taken now? So from here, I will come at this point. I'll project all those lines in this manner from here to here and um, from here to here. So let's move. The first one. So here we're having zero, one, two, three, and what? And four. So I'll just move this. We already have this being this point here. So I'll go to the next one, which will go to the third one. I'll go to the next one, which will go to this. And I'll go to the next one, which will go to this. Then this is the last one here. And I'm going to connect them. 
all together. Hope you can see that. So I'm going to connect them all together. This will come here. Right. So I can do this in this manner. Better still. I should be able to connect this first. Like this. See that so I can come like this, then I can come like this. So, this is what we are having. Is that again? Even you use the other one that is talking about, um, you divide it into six and you do the you still have the same shape coming out, right. So this is what we have here. Now we'll now start um we move. So it means this is a four and this is the lift, this is the dwell. So this is how my profile diagram is going to look like. So the next thing you do is to draw the displacement diagram of the follower. So what I will do first of all is I'm going to draw my vertical line this way. I'll draw my vertical line this way. You can see that. And um, now the next thing you pick a point. Let's say this point here. From this point, the first thing you draw, you draw your cam radius. It says the least cam radius is what? 40 millimeter. So from that point, you should measure 40 millimeter. So this is the 40 we have here from zero from zero to this point here given as what as 40. So it's at that point I will now take my compass I'll place it at that point to where I marked 40 then I'm going to draw a circle. Now this circle I am going to take in it this way. Is that taking? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we are told that the offsets, the follower offsets, the previous video we did, the follower was, line of action was corresponding with the center of the cam. But now, the follower line of action now is 10 millimeter away from the center of the cam. So how are we going to do that? So, since the circle is concentric, either I measure it this way or I measure it this way, any of them. So if I should measure 10 upward, I'm going to be having this, this is 10 millimeter here, right? So from here to this 10 millimeter, I will not take my compass. This is at that point. I will not draw a circle. So it means that my line of action will be at this point here. So I'll draw a line this way, just a line to guide me. So it means that. The follower type is the knife edge to be at this location here. So what I'll just simply do is I'll just draw a line this way and I'll draw another one again. Right? So at any given distance, I can see this point and this point should be my thickness of my knife edge. And I'll just from here, I'll take in from here to here. I'll come here also. I'll also take in from here to here. Now I can just use this is any of the parts you like. You can use the angle of 60 to get this. And I can use this one also to what? To get this. This is what we have here. And to just complete it. That is the knife edge acting at that point there is that again now the next thing we are going to do is the lift the lift given is 60 millimeter so i'll measure 60 millimeter from the top of the cam upward so i'll take my meter rule and i'm going to measure 60. so from here to this point here is 60 right so at that point i'll now take my compass 
this is the center of the cam come to that point there where i'm going to draw the circle this way so i'll use the front line to do that now what do you notice we are told that the cam the follower is rotating in a clockwise manner so in this point here i mean my follower is going in this manner that is clockwise and i say that if the follower is going in a clockwise manner it means that the cam will be going in an anti-clockwise manner this way so we have here so it's going in this direction so my line of action now is towards the center of the cam can you see that towards what the center of the cam since i am going in a clockwise direction my follower is going in a clockwise direction then my cam is going toward in an anti-clockwise direction so that means my angle will be going in what in an anti-clockwise direction so i'm going to take my protractor and i'm going to place it here the center here to this point let me turn it here this way this center to this point here i'll place it you can see that and this is a zero here now we said the first one is 180 right and we're taking 30 degree each so i'll move from zero to 180 this is 180 here you can see that that is 180 so i'm going to take my meter rule and i'm going to connect here to what to 180 so it means that from this point straight down here is what is 180 now i am going to divide another one again the next one from this same point again which is uh, zoom it to be what zero I'll zoom it to be zero right and I'm going to move again it's a dwell is 60 degrees so that will be from zero this is 20 30 40 50 60 and that is 60 here which I am going to connect I will draw it from here to touch the circumference here and the remaining from here to here is 60 from here to here is 120 why from here straight down to this point is what 180 right now what i'll do is in between here and here i'm going to divide it into how many what six equal parts here that is 30 30 degree is because 180 divided by 6 is 30 30 so i'm going to take my protractor i'll place it at that point at the center to be at the center and i'm going to start marking so from zero this is the first 30 60 is another multiple of 30 then the next one is 90 another 30 then the next one is um, 120 again, another 30, or let's say 60, then another 30 again, you count, this is um, 30 here, then back to the 180, which is 30 here. This is what we have. So the key word is, if you notice this from here, this cam you see, right? is tangential to this point here on the offset are we good so everything you are drawing should be tangential to this cam here so i'll take my from this first point i will ensure that it is tangential to this point you can see that then i'm going to draw from here to here tangential yeah, the next one the next point which is this i will say it should be tangential to the other point too which is here i'm going to draw then the next one too tangential to 
from this point i will get it to the circumference of the smaller circle here to ensure it is starting sharp consider what i have then the next one too from this point to ensure that it will be starting sharp to that smaller circle consider that we have this then the next one on this point i'm going to ensure that it is tangential to that circle and see that there's another one then this point i will ensure that it is tangential to the circle too this is what we have here right so I don't really need this particular one here. This is what I actually need here. So we move forward. And for the main one, which is that of the knife edge, if I project it up, you see it's that and shell. So I'll just take it up straight up. So it means that that point is my zero degree. You can see that. So if it's zero degree, so we are moving forward. This will be zero. This will be thirty. This will be sixty. This will be ninety. This will be one twenty. This will be one fifty. And this will be what? One eighty here. Is that again? So we we'll move forward. Now the next thing we'll do here is that um we will divide again don't forget we moved from here with from here to here now the next point will be dwell right so we are not going to to the aspect now we'll start from the other one again in between here and here is what is the 120 degree right or you just measure it so since i use this line to get the 180 right then i come here again i use the same line to get uh from here to here you see it is 60 dwell then i'll use the same line again i'll get it to the center so if it's zero that means if i move this will be my 120 here at this point you can see it so from here to here is 120 so what I'm going to do is, these two lines here, right, these two lines here, this from here to here, I'm going to divide it into 1, 2, 3, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 equal parts, because it's 120, 120 divided by 4, that would be what, 30 each. So if I take my protractor and I'm gauging it, I place it this way so this will be 0 to so this 150 is 30 this is another 30 will make it 60 this is another 30 make it 90 then back to the what 120 here that we have right now I will now draw my line to be tangential to that point again so from this point this is the first point we have here. I'm going to draw, it should be tangential. This point. It should be tangential. To touch here. You can see this is the important one. Then the next one. Tangential. Right. Then the next one. Tangential. Then the next one, Tadasha. So if you look very well, this one that is is what we need. But the first line here is just to get the angle. So I'm going to remove this line here. And I'm going to remove it. So that's what we have. So if this is 180, right? 
So I can start again. This will be still my 180 here also. Right? So going in the other direction. Now we'll move forward. So if this will be my 180 here, then the next one will be um so from this point here I can say it is my eight, my nine, the ten, right, eleven, and what back to zero, which is like twelve. So if I take my compass, I'm going to place it here to this point. Right, that is on one. We already have zero, which is here. So the first one is thirty. I'm going to mark. The second one is this. This is two. I'm going to mark. The third one is three, which is here. I'm going to mark. The fourth one is here which I'm going to mark that's 120 then the fifth one is here which I'm going to mark then the sixth one is here which I'll place it here and I'll mark which is the 180 which is here start again so the next one again I'll come to from 80 still the same one 80 here 90 the same 90 here All right then the 10 still come to the 10 here Then eleven to come to eleven here and back to zero. So I'm going to use my French cuff and I'll join this point all together this way. What I'll be doing to here is just the can use my compass to just connect from this point to this point because it's dwelling. So in between this 180 to this 180, it's dwelling. That is this two points here. Now the next thing I'm going to do. Is to I'll continue connecting those points together. Here too. Here too. here too so this is what we have here right that is what we have so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching